Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer and this is Watch Dogs Part 6. I think it's Part 6. I, I really need to fucking start keeping track of which part it is. Mo it's like, I can't count how many times I've forgotten what part it is and I always end up saying the wrong number. Anyway, um... We're gonna do one of those little side missions. It's very, very short, or at least the last one was. It's kind of a murder mystery sort of thing, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. But um, basically, the idea here, I'll, I'll highlight it. All right. So there, there are these investigation missions uh, over, like across the map, and one of them is called Missing Persons. It's like the little magnifying glass sort of thing, and uh, it, you know, reads as follows: People have gone missing in Chicago. There may be a serial killer. Uh, uh, there may be a serial killer is on the loose le okay i think that that's a typo but um on the loose leaving bodies and cryptic messages find all six missing persons throughout the city to unlock a special mission you can view your total collected missing persons in the progression wheel so i've already found one you know whatever uh and and basically it is a serial killer it's not may there is because you can he listen to these little recordings here and it, it identifies it as as such Chelsea Armstrong, hemophilia carrier. Uh, she was an escort, so she was like a, not a prostitute, well, kind of a prostitute, just uh, a fancy prostitute. And uh, she only made 68 grand. She wasn't a very good one, I guess. Or maybe I just misunderstand how much prostitutes or escorts make. Whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's six of them in total. I've already found two now. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I might play them on occasion. By the way, that did you hear that creepy music? I love that. Uh, but I, I might do some of them recorded. I don't. I don't really know. I will play the mission recorded. That's absolute. Like there's no doubt about it. Uh, that I'll that I'll be doing that. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like those whole murder mystery things always intrigue me in video games, especially. Like I like murder mysteries in general. It's probably one of my favorite genres for any bit of entertainment. Uh, are murder mysteries, and I feel like there's a gross lack of that in uh, entertainment. Uh, not so much in movies. There's there's a decent amount of movies that have had, that have had those those types of things. Hell, there was a TV show. You know, True Detective had uh, an entire like eight episode. Oh shit, I don't want that on. Uh, an entire eight episode thing on on uh, you know the murder mystery sort of stuff. So. Um, that, that was pretty good, and then, uh, like, one of my favorite movies is Seven, which, uh, came out in 1995, had, uh, Brad Pitt and, uh, Morgan Freeman, who uh, coined the phrase, what's in the box? So, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, I really like that movie, and I like stuff like that. Uh, I definitely enjoy video games that have murder mysteries, especially, um, and there's very few of them. Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect, evidently, is gonna be kind of like that, but it's gonna be sort of a supernatural vibe, and that's not totally what I'm looking for. I'm certainly intrigued in that game, and, and I don't want to give the wrong impression. Like, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm more so talking about, like, this really ominous and dark sort of tone to it. Kind of like L.A. Noir uh, during the homicide air, uh, uh, missions that you do, or when you're a homicide, de <clears throat> homicide detective. Those were really fun, and I enjoyed doing those. Um, also, Heavy Rain's another one, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, there are definitely, like games that have done that. There's just not very many. Um, I felt like Indigo Prophecy had the potential to be doing that, but they decided to go for the whole fucking stupid spiritual supernatural nonsense, and, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna go too into that, because, uh, I did a playthrough on it, and we, Alex and I were, um, doing a lot of the videos together, and, um, I kind of already gave my opinion on that, so if you're interested in hearing what I thought about Indigo Prophecy, feel free to check it out. Totally whoring another series, because why not? Uh, let's go ahead and start the mission. Okay, I'm at the Willis Tower. What do you got on Helena? Looking through her status updates. She likes selfies. Here she is making a duck face, a spiral face. She loves her cats too. Why are you targeting this clue of girl? I'm not. I need to find her uncle fast, and Helena's gonna point the way. I already know where it is, so I'm not even going to bother with the 
Ooh, where is she? I know, I know goddamn well. Unless they change it up, but I, I doubt that they do. Okay, I'm, I'm already certain. Most of the big this morning. Her outfit for the day. Dark hair and glasses. And she's showing off a green backpack. Thank you, social media. That's a start. I'll keep digging. Maybe she's not in the same place. She wasn't here last time. No, that's that's her, but she doesn't have a green backpack. Hey, Elena. You're up. Looks like a Okay, yeah, it is green. It's more of a like a gross shitty green, but okay. Hello? Miss Tucci? I'm Dr. Hyatt with the Chicago General Hospital. I'm also ten feet away from you. I your Uncle Angela's blood work, but you're the only number he gave us. Do you know where we can reach him? It's urgent. No, sorry. I haven't heard from my uncle in years. Okay, thank you, man. Wait for it. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Angie. Elena! You need concert tickets again? No, listen, I got a weird call. I think the cops are looking for you. What? Damn it, you calling me just gave them a trace. Hang up now. Gotcha. Shit. I was gonna hack that other lady for a Where second. Are you? Angelo Tucci. There you are. Angela Tucci. This guy's leading the prison transfer Shit. for my witness. Somebody's paying Tucci for the vigilante's identity. Nobody wants my name. Well, good luck with that. Indeed, good luck with that. Tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice. Shit. Oh, I thought that I busted my tire or something for a second. I was like, fuck! I like this car. But no, that's not a problem. These, I don't know. Like, I've never run into one of these things, but for some reason I don't get the feeling that they would have the same sort of crashing sort of noise as hitting a car. I've, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not 100%. Like I said, I've never crashed into one. But I feel like they'd be a little bit more rubbery and they'd kind of fall over easier and they wouldn't do as much damage or, or audible damage to your car. Um, I don't know. They seem kind of small and and pretty ineffectual. So that's just that's just my observation. I, I feel like GTA did that one pretty realistically. And uh, I was watching uh, that, the you know, uh, Total Biscuit does that whole WTF thing is uh, series, and I watch that pretty frequently, and uh, he was talking about how the driving mechanics in the game are pretty unrealistic. Not that they're necessarily bad, I personally actually have grown to enjoy them somewhat. Um, I don't love them, but I, 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 you know, now that I've learned how to handle it pretty well, I, I can um, enjoy it. Uh, but it is pretty unrealistic overall. Um, I don't know, maybe that's what they were going for, but the rest of the game feels, or, or not the rest of the game, but like, it feels like they were going for a realistic vibe, in a way, so I don't know how that works. Or how that how that was supposed to work. Alright, hopefully I can fuck this guy up. Get out of my way! Shit. I won't get you. Fuck. Uh, I got this guy. Fuck, 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 fuck. There we go. Got him. It's not gonna matter. Haha. -ha. I escaped. I'm better than you. All right, so that's one mission down. Okay, uh, we'll we'll do another one. It's only about 15 minutes in at this point, so I'll I'll do the uh, prison mission, which I think is next. If not, I just spoiled something. Well, then again, he said he needed to get to the prison, so I guess not. You still have contacts in the prison? I already asked if they could make our guys slip in the shower. They're dirty, but they're not that dirty. I'm gonna get arrested. Of course you are. Why the hell are you doing that? This witness we're after, he's a nobody. He 
He's in the wrong place at the wrong time. He wasn't looking for me. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to understand I can reach him anywhere, anytime. That is a terrible plan. I love it. I'll find a map of the joint, talk you through it once you're inside. Anything you need? My phone? Jesus, you have a problem. You need to unplug. Jordy, I need my phone. They'll confiscate it the second I'm in. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I got just a guy. He's begging to settle his debt. You get your phone. All right, fantastic. And we're here, so we can just keep going. Palin Correctional Center. They recently upgraded the place with Bloom's state-of-the-art security. Network locks, automated surveillance. If they were holding the guy in an older prison, I'd have a problem. But Bloom's right on this one. They do make life easier through technology. Jordy, we're even now. Don't move. Pierce. Hayden. Never again! Smith! That was pretty quick. Was there a trial and all that? Or did they just fucking throw him in there? I don't know if that would even require a trial. It's like, he came in with a fucking gun. I don't know. It just seems like it would take more than just... Like, isn't this a prison? Or this... I don't know. I don't know enough about jails or prisons. So I'm not going to pretend that I do. Alright, so basically I just need to... All of them have hidden cameras on them, so I basically just need to, uh... Fuck, I almost had that one. Well, let me get this guy. Maybe I can get to it this way. First thing I'm needing to do here is, uh... Manage to unlock Aiden's door. Which uh, requires a little bit of patience, because since all the guards have cameras on them, I pretty much have to follow them. You know, there's a couple of security cameras, but I don't think any of them directly point at the building, or at the door. Um, or inside of the door, I should say. Unfortunately, I can't really move around yet. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Jordy, I'm inside. Uh, obviously? Cut the shit. I should have sent you in here. This was your mistake. You might want to keep it down. You'll end up with a free trip to solitary. I can't get you out. I'm going to find the inmate schedule. I'll be in touch. I think it'll get worse than just solitary for trying to fucking break out. First of all, they take his phone, which means he's totally fucked. Um... But yeah, there will be a lot of other problems to go with it. I'm certain of that. Shit. You don't see me. Make sure the weasel 
get selected. So all aboard the Rushmore train. Choo-choo. Fuck. Just listen to this ass hat. If you're like me, you're fed up with the blowhards and their hyperbole. We are at a crossroads here. With one path leading into economic and social ruin, and the other, if you'll just walk with me, leading into a new age for Chicagoans. Okay. No, give me that. Jordy, I found the schedule. Where's the exercise yard? Up top. Just need to get over here. Maybe not. This might not be a good idea. Shit. I gotta wait for him to pass by. I know what he does. He kind of yeah, exactly. He's coming down here now. Last time it was a fat Mexican. This time it's a skinny white dude. Or maybe he's still Mexican. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, shit. You don't see nothing. Alright, I think that this, yeah, this is the guy I need to follow here. There's some electrical issues on the cell floor. Yes! Got it. Ah, fuck. So ink all over his face. Ugly as shit. Makes him an easy mark. Our prisoner transfer. Get up here somewhere. So your plan B. What do you need us to do? Whatever it takes to get this guy talking. You got it. This is the guy right here. Hello. Now, I'm gonna get you off the roof. Uh oh. Looks like this guy's in trouble. That was excessive. Before they kill him. That's a problem. Some guards just took our guy. Fuck, basement. They're in the basement. All right, I gotta worry about these two dudes, though. I can't let them see me. But this fuck right here is kind of just standing right in front of the doorway. I don't know. I might be able to. I don't know. Am I good? Alright then. No worries. Didn't even need to kick anybody's ass. Seems like there's quite the little crooked operation being run out of this joint. Look at you bringing justice back to the prison system. Door's empty. Door's wide open. No silent alarms have gone off. Watch your back. Just in case. Oh, not just in case. I'm going to need this. Forgot about that. Spoilers. Doing a deal without cutting us in? Think we don't have friends in high places? They expect a cut too. No! I told you already. It wasn't a deal. Let's just have a gunfight in the middle of a prison. Certainly nobody would hear. Maybe we won't leave you for dead too. I can't take more. I'll tell you when I go. Oh. Wait, hold on a second. I think I forgot to unlock something. Yeah, there's something in here. They must have killed Who's they? I don't know. Names. Give me names. I don't know. But you got a good look, didn't you? There it is. Now I can go in. I have no other way. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't think so. Just in case, though, I wanted to see. Uh-oh. You guys found me out pretty quick. Heh <laughs> heh. 
I killed two of your friends. The interesting thing about this kind of combat is that they tend to close in on you pretty quickly. They don't fuck around, usually. And you know, all this gunfire, the only thing, only complaint I have right now is that all this gunfire that they're fire, uh, that they're shooting at me at the moment really is inconsequential because the, the coverers are not destructible. If they were destructible, I would be feeling even more pressure right now, and that's a good thing. Like, I want to feel that kind of pressure. I, I need to feel that kind of pressure. Uh, to, you know, make this, this more authentic, you know? And here comes Big Motherfucker. Good thing is this guy's kind of an idiot, so he doesn't... Oh. He has a hard time seeing you, usually. And he kind of just goes to the most recent place you were. he's doing right now. Fuck. Alright, here we go. I like this shotgun, though. It's a lot of fun. Let's go say hi to our to our little friend over here. Just to scare him a little bit. Why not? Help! Somebody! Relax. You're inside. How'd you get inside, man? You know, it was pretty simple. These high-tech security prisons, they make it quite easy, really. Have we met? What? Have we met? Uh, no. No, i never seen you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. So you're in here for 60 days. And good behavior, you're out in 30. <laughs> What does that say? Sixty years? What are you doing, man? I'm just showing you an alternate future. You know, in case you get the urge to share your stories or make a deal with the cops. We're clear, right? All humans possible prison escape be on the lookout for white male Joe Smith. I need a unit up to the laundry. We've lost communication. Copy. We're on it. Jordy, it's done. Fantastic. I'm guessing you're eager to get out of there. There's a care package on its way for you. Where? Don't worry. You'll see it. God damn it. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, well, let's get jam comms, get that. Just in case. I'm not gonna- I don't plan on killing anybody, but just in case, you know. Good clip. 
Oh, stop? Well, that's not happening. Holy shit, fucking finally. Christ. Damien bragged about a second hacker. Someone else inside the Merlot. lot. Need to find out what Damien knows. Come on, really? No, I'm not Alright, well that was pretty fucking ridiculous. Jesus Christ. The police are persistent, nice. dude. Nice. And you can't kill them. That's the other fucking thing. It's like, they're... They'll chase after you for fucking 20 minutes and, uh... You know, you can't kill them or you're in some deep shit. Well, I didn't kill you. Get along. I taught you so much. Look at you, big time hacker now. Is that you in the news? The vigilante? You mentioned a second hacker at the Merlot job. But we already knew there was another hacker. You found something new. Ah, intriguing, isn't it? Come, let's meet and I'll explain. Tell me. Then I'll consider meeting. Oh no. My information, my rules. Besides, we need to make up for last time. I'm very excited, Aiden. Come soon. Damien's a fucking asshole. I gotta say that much. Anyway, um... I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here, so... If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you guys next time.